Many of the locations that I've filmed are demolished or redeveloped into something more beneficial to the city or town that they were rotting in. There are many success stories about what some of these places have become, and just as many failures. I find it interesting how one can drive past a structure for decades, and when that structure is gone or changed, one can adapt to the new situation rather quickly, sometimes without even giving it a single thought. I'm going to follow up on a few of my favorite locations and let you decide what was more interesting. What is or what was? Mercy Hospital was conceived under the name of Mountain City Hospital to serve as a second hospital for the city of Altoona. Mercy was formally opened on July 14, 1910, with nine beds, 15 physicians, six nurses, and what was originally 1866, home of Thomas McCauley, which was located on the corner of 8th Avenue and 26th Street of Altoona. Mercy also operated a school of nursing and by 1927 the hospital had grown into 180 beds. In 1935, while facing financial difficulties and at the request of the hospital's board of directors, Mercy came to be managed by the Sisters of the Holy Family of Nazareth of Pittsburgh. From that point, the hospital experienced major expansions of its facilities, including a B-Wing that opened in 1962 a pavilion that opened in 1978, and another expansion in 1991. Its school of nursing closed in 1985, and the hospital instead affiliated with a nursing program located at a nearby St. Francis College. In 1996, the Sisters of the Holy Family of Nazareth sold the hospital to the Sisters of Bon Secours, at which point it became part of the multi-state Bon Secours health system and changed its name to Bon Secours Holy Family Hospital. In 2003, the Sisters of the Bon Secours withdrew their sponsorship of the hospital, although the hospital remained as a part of Bon Secours Health System, as merger talks with Altoona Hospital began to take shape. The 2004 merger between Altoona Hospital and Bon Secours resulted in a two-hospital campus system that included more than 20 affiliated companies. In 2010 and 2011, some outpatient services were moved to a new $16 million station medical center, and additional expansion of the Altoona Hospital campus was initiated by the purchase of an $18 million renovation of the formerly state-owned Altoona Center at Howard Avenue and 4th Street. In 2011, with a decision having been made to close the Bon Secours campus, and consolidate existing services at the Altoona Hospital, Bon Secours Health System, withdrew as a partner of the Altoona Regional Health System, thereby ending 76 years of the Catholic involvement in the area hospital administration. The 7th Avenue Bon Secours Campus officially closed on March 28, 2012. A revolution is stirring in America. It's going to change all of our lives. Working people, retired people, families, people alone, young and old, people in need. The revolution is health care reform because if it isn't affordable for everyone if it isn't available for everyone if it isn't the best for everyone then it really isn't working health care for everyone might be new to america but it's already here at mercy Growing up in Altoona, there were always, you know, the three hospitals. There was the Altoona Hospital, there was Mercy Hospital, and then there was the VA Hospital. And Mercy Hospital, or Bon Secours Hospital, uh, 
was a decently, it was a decent hospital. It wasn't, you know, falling down or anything. So I was kind of surprised to see it shut down and sit abandoned for a couple of years. And luckily I got in there and got some footage before it was completely renovated into the success that it is or is about to be today. But before I show you that, let's uh, check out what it used to look like on the inside. An Altoona hospital that has been abandoned for over seven years is getting a new lease on life thanks to 1979 Tyrone graduate and local developer Jeff Long. When completed in 2019, the former Bon Secours Hospital will be transformed into a $20 million Greystone Senior Living Apartment Complex and long-term care facility trying to sell it for like two and a half million dollars and for seven years it sat empty. When all the pipes froze and everything they decided they were just going to tear it down and that's when I, I got involved it's like why spend two million to tear it down why don't you spend a million dollars and got it and get rid of the asbestos and then I told them to give it to me for a dollar that they will save a million dollars. So six months later they called me and said okay we'll we'll do your deal. So yes. we have uh, 14 buildings this will be our 15th one. Um, and we have close to 1,500 apartments. Yeah, if this building went down, we'll have 160 apartments in it, and the entire second floor will be a personal care home, assisted living facility. So the whole second floor will be a nursing home. The whole first floor is all common areas. There's going to be a spa over there where people from the outside can buy a membership. It'll be an indoor pool, a hot tub. We're probably going to be a total of three years, so we'll get the first phase done. All right, well, I don't know about you guys, but I for one, really think that this is a good example of a success story for a place that was rotting and it was going to cost a lot of money to clean up. And uh, Jeff Long took over and made something positive out of something that was going to continue to rot this area of town. This was a pretty seedy area to begin with. And having an abandoned hospital and abandoned factory across the street, you know, it took up a, a couple blocks of this landscape. And now it is beautiful. And I really think he did a good job. Like that, he changed this place completely and added a few floors to the top. It's not as flat looking as it was when it was a hospital. He changed the whole deal. And 
I think it's pretty neat, but what do you guys think was better? What was or what is? Man, I mean, this merch is like really sick. Check me out, bro.